We're back with Andrea Marsh and Marty Ackett of the Peter White Public Library talking about all booked up, getting into December's read. So this one, I think it's going to be very fitting for Christmas. Yeah. How how did you choose this one, Marty? How did I choose this? I thought, you know, one, I looked for length because I wanted something short. Everybody is so busy during the holidays, so I wanted to not burden them with something that was 300 pages long. Mm -hmm. So I chose something that's very short, but it's also one that, it's one of my favorite Christmas stories, and it is Truman Capote's A Christmas Memory. Um, and it's about Truman Capote as a young child who he le lived with an older relative, so his special relationship with his um, great aunt. And um, she is such a character, she's so memorable. And um, it's about them making um, fruitcake for all the people they love. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful story. Okay. So it's a nonfiction story? It is a nonfiction story, but it's like Truman Capote, he, he sort of mastered that whole nonfiction um, narrative where it reads like fiction, but it is a nonfiction book. Okay, and I'm gonna ask this, and I, I already can tell, I, but why should we read this book? What are we gonna walk away with? You, you are going to walk away with those holiday warm fuzzies, I'll guarantee you. And it will also, you'll walk away like wanting to go and hug everybody that you really care about and love. It's that, it's that kind of a book. Is this the type of book that you could sit around with your family by the Christmas tree and read together? Absolutely. There is no trigger warnings in this one. Unless you are allergic to any of the ingredients in fruitcake, you can read this book without any problem. That's my question. Is the recipe available? No, there is no recipe. There is no recipe, but, you know, there's a lot of bourbon in the one that they do, so, This, yeah. this isn't the... the, the recipe book book club that no, you have no, here. No, it is not. <laughs> All right, and I know you're doing a bunch of events around yes. this book for the holidays. What's happening here at the library? Okay, well, we have this Friday, we have a, a documentary about Truman Capote's life that we're going to be showing at noon in the Shiris room here. Um, then we are also showing a, um, a film adaptation of this book starring um, Patty Duke as, as uh, the, the great aunt. Um, and it's a wonderful, wonderful um, adaptation. And we're going to be showing that about the middle of December. And then, of course, we're going to be on you guys, your guys' <laughs> show, talking about this book. And maybe I'll bring fruitcake and we should all eat hey. fruitcake. Maybe I'm not going to be mad. Oh, maybe we should try to make a fruitcake. Oh, my gosh. I've never done that. Me neither. <laughs> I love a first. You want to be the great aunt? And then <laughs> <laughs> it's fruitcake weather. That's what we'll do. Yes. I think that's a great idea. Okay. We've just set the next month's show. So tune in for the best fruitcake recipe be from Marty. He's going to spend a month taste testing. Okay. <laughs> well, I can tell you really are passionate about this book. You have a, a love for it. I, I really do. I love Truman Capote as a writer, but this, uh, even Tru Truman Capote said this was the best thing that he ever wrote. Wow. So it's, it's that good. And it's 29 pages, Tia. 29 I want to reiterate, Tia. 29 pages, no Tia. No excuses. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's my, one of my favorite things to do. I have no words. Why do you have to call me out like that? <laughs> she said, I can read that in one setting. One sitting. sitting. And yeah. I say, oh, okay. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. If it's 29 pages, why are there 107 pages in that book? What's, the, the, what's there, the fluff? Yeah, there are two other um, stories in here called One Christmas and The Thanksgiving Visitor. You can read the whole book. Um, they're all holiday themed, but they all have the same characters in it. Um, but that first one is the one that we're going to talk about, A Christmas Memory. Well, I'm really looking forward to this mm -hmm. one. Um, I think it's going to be a good pick. It's going to be a good one, and you might shed a tear or two at the end, but okay. it's and still good. Turns out the January book is the real yeah. tearjerker. Yeah. You're you're ahead of us. Um. Well, I got Marty as my office mate. <laughs> <laughs> so Happens. It's really hard to keep up. <laughs> Let me tell you, Tia, I don't want to read some of these books either. But <laughs> okay, we, we're not obviously going to tell you about January's book no. yet. We have to get through this one, mm -hmm. which sounds like just a wonderful read. Twenty nine pages. We're going to do it in one sitting. Yes, we are. Maybe, Maybe even just on the way back to the station. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. A Christmas Memory by Truman Capote. Can't wait to make our own Christmas memories. Oh, and make a fruitcake? Yes. You guys. I can hardly wait. I love fruitcake. Okay. Do we need an oven for that? We'll buy okay. <laughs> we have to do a little TV magic for the next okay. show. We'll have to do some we'll figure preparing. It out. Yeah. You get the recipe. We'll make the, the goodness happen. All right. So okay. Fine. Deal. All right. Well, let us know what you think about the book as you're reading through it, and we may share some of your thoughts on our next all booked up show. Okay, well, we're not done here at the library yet this morning. We are actually going to get our first holiday concert. Maybe a little sing-along. We'll see. We'll see. Stick around. We'll be right back.